Hi, it's Mark here from MIECCTV.co.uk. Today we're going to be looking at how to terminate your Cat5e cable with an RJ45 end. Uh, for this you're going to need a few tools. You're going to need some cable cutters or a uh, utility knife will do. Um, also potentially some cable strippers uh, and you're going to need an RJ45 crimp tool as well. Um, we're going to be terminating the RJ45 connection today in the 568B style of wiring um, and we can, we can uh, reference a link to the wiring diagram in the description below. Okay, so firstly what we need to do is take our, uh, our cable. Uh, we've cut a short length here for the uh, example in this video. We're going to be using our cable stripping tool which is a handy little tool that will only just strip the, the outer core on the RJ45, keeping your remaining eight cores intact. Uh, you want to make sure if you're using your cable cutters or your knife that you uh, don't actually uh, break the internal cables. Um, an RJ45 cable is made up of uh, eight cores um, and there's also this pull cord here on some models. Uh, we've just snipped that off uh, as we don't need to pull the RJ45 cable down anymore just to get it out of the way before we begin to terminate. Now as I stated previously we're going to be wiring it in the 568B wiring style. Now this from left to right uh, is uh, orange, white and orange cable. Then we're going the white and green and then the blue cable. Then the white and blue and then the green cable. And then the white and brown and then the brown cable. Now these are paired together within your RJ45 cable. What we need to do is separate them out. Um, the uh, Most of the pairs stay together except for the green which I find uh, it, it surrounds the, t the blue cables in the middle. So you've got one green cable either side. And the way I like to remember it is, is yeah, just that way. So you start with the orange, then you go into the green uh, on the single cable. Then you have the blue pair in the middle. Uh, then you go into the other green cable, and then you've got the uh, brown, white, and brown. The cables will always alternate as well between a uh, striped cable, so either a white and orange, and a solid color. Um, so that's sort of the easiest way to uh, to remember how to how to wire these connections. Once you've got the uh, cables in a suitable position and they're all in order as shown here, uh, we're going to take the uh, the cable cutters, just create a nice straight edge on them because you notice they're, uh, they're all slightly different lengths and we're just going to cut the ends off and it gives us a nice straight clean edge. This just makes it a lot easier to pull it into the, uh, the, uh, the RJ45 termination. Um, now with the center pin down and the gold pins facing up, we now place the cable uh, into the RJ45 connections with the orange and white cable on the far left hand side and the solid brown cable on the right hand side. Once you've pushed the cables in you just want to make sure you've pushed them all the way to the end to make sure that the gold pin can actually clamp down on them. And now we're going to put the RJ45 end into the RJ45 crimp tool and just clamp it down. What this will do is it will push all the gold pins up and actually clamp onto the eight individual cores inside. You can now cover this with an optional boot. Uh, this completes this video tutorial. Uh, if you'd like to purchase some Cat5 e cable, you can purchase from the link in the description, uh, which is from mieccdv.co.uk. Uh, you can use Cat5 cable for wiring your uh, IP CCTV systems or running a cable from your DVR or MVR into your network uh, router or switch. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching.